Taking calcium is the most effective and the most natural way of protecting your bones, right? Calcium supplements prevent osteopenia and osteoporosis. That's where your bones are so weak that they're likely to break. Isn't that true? In this video, we're gonna talk about whether calcium supplementation is helpful in strengthening your bones. I'm Steve Goldman from simplehormones.com. I help patients and healthcare practitioners with easy to understand patient education resources. Most of those resources are about hormone optimization. You know, uh, optimal hormones where you have all of your hormones, not too high and not too low, but just right. If you have optimal levels of hormones, that can really help relieve symptoms, especially symptoms of menopause, things like hot flashes and night sweats and weight gain and irritability and mood swings. In addition to reducing all your symptoms, optimal hormone levels can help you prevent long-term diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and even osteoporosis. Well, osteoporosis is a disease that we don't really talk about all that much, but it is a huge problem, especially in women and especially after the age of 50 when women go into menopause. Did you know that there are over 10 million people in the US with osteoporosis? That's approximately the number of people that live in the entire state of Georgia. About 80% of those people with osteoporosis are women. And then there's osteopenia. There's about 43 million people in this country with osteopenia. That's more than the number of people in the largest state, California, which only has about 40 million people. You know, the, the chances are that one out of every two women over 50 is gonna have a broken bone as a result of osteoporosis. If that broken bone is a hip or even a spinal fracture, the chances are pretty good that that woman could end up in a rehab facility Maybe she loses a lot of her mobility. She has to walk with a cane or a walker. It's even possible that that woman could end up in a nursing home for the rest of her life. It happens all the time. Remember, there's 10 million people with osteoporosis in this country. So you might be thinking about the idea of using hormones to treat or prevent osteoporosis. Well, osteoporosis may be scary, but hormones are even scarier, right? Besides, I can just take some calcium supplements to protect my bones. Well, that's a pretty widely held perception that calcium supplementation and maybe some vitamin D can help reduce osteoporosis and you'll be fine. But the reality is the clinical studies don't actually show that to be true. In fact, I've talked a little bit about the Women's Health Initiative study, a very giant study of women in menopause. One of the arms of that study was all about calcium and vitamin D in these same women and looking at whether or not they continue to have broken bones and problems with osteoporosis. Well, the Women's Health Initiative calcium and vitamin D arm found out that women taking calcium and vitamin D did have a slight increase in their bone mineral density. That's how hard their bones are. But it was so small that it didn't really make a difference in whether they had fractured bones or, or broken bones over the long term. So the Women's Health Initiative, the largest study to date about calcium and bone health, basically showed that it didn't make that much of a difference. The second thing we need to remember about calcium supplementation and bone health is that there are several clinical trials and some review articles that have looked at calcium supplementation in regard to heart disease. So here's an interesting thing. Uh, one of the indicators for whether a person is likely to get heart disease or have a heart attack is something called a coronary artery calcium score. And it's basically a measure of the buildup of calcium and the lining on the inside of your blood vessels, especially in your heart. That measurement of coronary artery calcium is a good indicator of whether you're likely to have a heart attack in the next few years. Well, oddly enough, calcium, the higher your calcium level is, the more likely you are to have a buildup of calcium in your blood vessels, especially the blood vessels in your heart called coronary arteries. So there is a relationship between taking calcium supplements and getting a buildup of calcium inside the arteries in your heart. And that can be a serious problem. Now, the studies are a bit equivocal and they don't 100% say that the risk is really huge, that if you take calcium supplements, you're going to have a heart attack, but they lean in that direction. So we have two things. We combine those two things together. One is 
Calcium is not all that good in increasing your bone health. It does a little bit, but not that much. Number two, calcium can increase your risk for heart disease. So if we look at the risks versus the benefits, the risks of calcium supplementation look like they might be a little higher than the benefits, which aren't all that great. One thing to note is that there are a few supplements that might make a real difference in your bone density and in preventing fractures, but they don't have quite the amount of risk that calcium supplementation might. And that is the vitamins A, D, and K. And you can actually get a combination of A, D, K all in the same capsule. And taking those vitamins together may increase your body's ability to build bone, especially uh, that's modified by the estrogen component of your hormones. Estradiol specifically is a hormone that really helps your body build bones. Your body is constantly both building up and tearing down bone, and it's a, a constant balance. When you have optimal levels of estradiol, then the building up part is greater than the breaking down part. And those vitamins, A, D, and K, help estradiol do its job a little bit better in keeping bone built and keeping bone solid and strong. If you're a patient and you've had a DEXA scan in the last few years that shows your bones are getting a little weaker, and maybe you don't necessarily have osteoporosis, but you might have osteopenia, which is something that leads to osteoporosis. Or maybe you have full-on osteoporosis and you're in danger of breaking some bones. Well, you may need some hormone optimization help. I know lots of doctors all over the US and some in Canada and a few other countries that can help you to optimize all your hormones, especially your estradiol and progesterone if you're past menopause. Those can, as I mentioned, relieve all your symptoms as well as prevent some long-term health risks like osteoporosis. If you're a healthcare provider and you have the ability to help patients in menopause with their osteoporosis, osteopenia, and their hormone optimization, click the link that says get more patients and I'll put you on my provider database and we'll try to match you up with some of my patients who need help with their hormones. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons to get notified anytime I post a new one. We'll look forward to talking with you again soon.